In our Vicon LiveLink plugin update for Unreal Engine 427, we changed prop tracking to come into engine as the transform rule. This change brings some workflow differences which we will go over in this video. For this demonstration, Unreal Engine 5 is used, but the process is the same for Unreal Engine 427 with minor UI differences. To start, have a tracked prop in a Vicon software. Here I'm using Shogun. In Unreal Engine, create your Vicon LiveLink connection. For this example, I will use the flashlight prop skeletal mesh supplied with Shogun. Add the flashlight mesh to the scene and select it. In the details panel, add a component and add the live link component controller. Select this new live link component controller and in the subject representation dropdown, select the subject you would like to use for your prop data. You will now see the mesh animating in the viewport. If you have the mesh unparented, you will not be able to move it around the scene due to the world's 000, 000 position being treated as the Vicon volume origin point. To reposition this mesh now, create an empty actor and give it a name like Vicon origin. Parent any subjects being animated from Vicon data to this actor and they can then be moved around together. We will now go through the process of doing this through blueprints. Create a new blueprint and name it appropriately. Add in the prop mesh. Add a live link component controller. Select the LiveLink component controller, and in the details panel, use the Add Event button for On Live Link Updated. This will open the event graph with this event in focus. Drag off from the flow pin and search for Evaluate Live Link Frame and add it. Select the subject on this node in the dropdown. Drag off from the valid frame pin and search for Set Relative Transform and set the target to the prop mesh. Go back to the Evaluate Live Link Frame node, break the data result once, and then break the frame data another time to get the transform pin. Alternatively, you can right click Data Result and Split Struct Pin, and the same again for the Frame Data Pin. Drag the transform into the new transform pin of the set relative transform node. Hit compile and save. Place the blueprint into the scene. This blueprint can move your prop around the scene without parenting to another actor. Thank you for watching. If you have any queries, please don't hesitate to contact our support team and check back soon for more Vicon motion capture tutorials.